Hey guys, New Heights Horizon. My name's Will, back with another video. Bella's running around here somewhere. It's raining outside. I left work a little bit early today to come home, trying to meet Amazon here to get my antenna day. We're supposed to deliver today. I ordered a GMRS tuned antenna. Um, they emailed me and said that it wasn't getting here until Saturday now, so whatever, uh, it is what it is. So what I do have still coming from UPS is that BTEC U25 amp that converts two watts to 20 watts, three watts to 25, all the way up to 40 watts. But I think the most you could put into it is six watts, if I'm correct. Um, and I saw a video on it that someone was getting about 55 watts. Electricity. Added, I think, with that BTEC UV Pro connected to it. So we'll see, guys. Um, but for now, being I don't have the other antenna, my buddy Juan from Fort Lauderdale sells on eBay. And I'll t I'm telling you right now, this thing is an absolute beast, guys. Um, I threw it up 40 feet, 35 to 40 feet. I think it was around 34 and a half feet. Nine plus 10 equals 21. When I did all the calculations. Um, so yeah, I put this up 34 and a half feet. I connected it to the tip radio H8 stock, nothing. I, I used SMA to SO239, connected it to this little CB 25 foot coax I have outside. This thing though, this is what I wanted to address. This is an end connector. It's not an SO239. A lot of people, Juan was telling me, would order this product and then contact him after receiving it, asking him why they had this end connector on it as opposed to an SO239. Well, I'm going to explain that to you. And I didn't know this, and Juan um, informed me of this, and I want to say thank you to him for letting me know this because I would have never known. Well, I probably would have, but not as quick. The end connectors are waterproof. The SO239 are not. The end connectors are rated up to 600 megahertz. The SO239s are only rated up to 300 megahertz. So being a GMRS tuned antenna, ideally you want to stick with the and connectors so i just wanted to address that so you guys know if you do order from him which i hope you do this thing is a beast to remember to order the um it's an n mail to so 239 can uh, adapt it as you'll need and i think you got two of them for eight bucks i'll link this in the description as well um so yeah height is mike guys with this thing i'm gonna um let you guys go for now i just wanted to address the uh, end connector on this thing I'm going to throw this thing up with the BTEC U25 amp and see how far I can go tonight. And I'll follow up with the video. Seven threes for now. Remember, height is might, guys. Seven threes. Hey, guys. New height to raise him back. I'm in the car with Bell. Uh, it's about 20 minutes after I just made that post about the end connector for the uh, GMRS J pole. So I'm in the car. I'm at 7.3 miles right now. And I just wanted to give you guys, this is absolutely insane. Insane. I I hooked up the uh, BTEC U25 amp um, through uh, the, and then I ran, I hooked that up and then I ran the TID radio H8 through it. And I went out and I got about three and a half to four miles and it just started acting up. I don't think, I don't think I'm putting enough juice through it. So now I'm 7.6. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. That, that is really, really super, super clear. And that, that is not through the BTEC U25. That is through just the stock TID Radio HE, which I am shocked. Um, Bella is shocked, right, Bell? She's shocked. I'm shocked. I don't know. It, it's got to be. So I went home and I disconnected it. And then I just hooked up the TIB radio H8. And now that's what we're getting. At 7.9 miles now. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. That is absolutely insane to have that. It sounds like a old, I don't know where most of you that are watching are from. But I grew up in a, you know, a lot of taxis and cabs were in the area. And. You know, they used to get pretty far out with those. You know, I remember taking cabs maybe 15, 20 miles away, and they would always check in with uh, 
with their base unit, and they would always have pretty decent comms. I always thought about that as a as a kid, even uh, even on the younger side. Like, wow, they maintain pretty good coverage no matter how far the, you went out. Um, otherwise, they would use cell phones. Um, but I remember even before cell phones. So, um, yeah, I'm that old. I'm not that old, but I'm that old to remember no cell phones. I remember when our phones, <laughs> our phone numbers had no area codes. Um, yeah, and then it got really, really busy with the phone number thing. Really, really like uh crowded and then they had to start implementing uh, area codes right bell area codes now i ask her if she wants to go on a range test and she gets excited yeah so now i'm at 8.8 .8. this is insane absolutely insane testing testing one two three testing, testing one two three bell is that crazy that's crazy so I'm gonna keep going. I don't know how far we're gonna go, but I would have to imagine it is that that J pole, the GMRS J pole uh, Juan made. It's gotta be because I put up that center fire maybe a week ago, and I had that thing up just as far as I have the the J pole up right now. And uh, it did decent, don't get me wrong. It, it did very d well. But this thing is just, you know, it, it goes without saying. I'm at 9.3 right now. I'll show you so you know I'm not lying. 9.3 miles. So, yeah, so watch. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. That is like without a doubt, like super, super clear. Um, there must not be enough power because I, what I have is I have 110 going to a SIG sock converter, which is 10. It's it's 12 volt, 10 amp, and I just don't think because the um, it might be 13.8, um, like mo like some of the mobile units. I ordered a um, power supply, 30 amp. That'll be here tomorrow because the KT980 plus I ordered that I got yesterday in the mail. Um, only came with a tail whip, positive and negative. It didn't give me a cig. It didn't give me the cigarette adapter to plug into the cig sock. So I tried to use the Hero Yasu um, IC980 Pro uh, plug, like you know, from the T connector out to the cigarette uh, adapter. I tried using that. It didn't work. It just would shut off every time I tried to power up the KT980 Plus. So I don't think it has enough power. I think that's my issue with everything. Uh, Cause even when I hooked up the Bougie 218, um, which I gotta do a review on these things coming up. But even when I got that, I hooked it up and I, I ran it through the Surecom with the 4850K1 plug from Surecom to integrate that. Uh, it sounded like crap, so. There's an issue underlying, and I, I think it is a power issue, and I have that settled because tomorrow I ordered a pyramid, only 7 amp though, uh, mistakenly. So I got to cancel that or send it back when I get it. It's too late to cancel. They shipped it. So when I get that, I have to send it back. The price threw me off because I was like $60. I said, all right, because I'm familiar with the pricing, and I, I didn't even read it because I'm just so overwhelmed with getting this done i just want to get uh 15 to 20 miles easy i'm at 10 3 now testing testing one two three testing testing one two three and i think i have it um I, and the other gm gmrs antenna i have that is coming late saturday that should do it um and then i have the five foot extension painter uh well it's an extension pole you could use it for whatever dusting or it doesn't have to be painting but um if you watch my videos i had a painter pole extension that was stood by itself at 12 foot and then you, you'd have to you'd have to hang whatever you were hanging repeater or whatever and then you know hold that thing up with it's like <sighs> bending in the middle as you get older you'll know what that means uh so yeah it was bending in the middle and uh, it was just too hard to stand up after it was erect. Like I was pain in the butt to line up to the hole. You'll you'll know about that too uh, in a little bit. 
But uh, yeah, well, they actually coincide, the bending in the middle and finding the hole and all that stuff. But you'll figure that out. But anyway, yeah, back to uh, back to the radio. So I got the other uh, painter's extension uh, pole, and uh, now that's working beautifully. So I can just erect that. Um, MacGyver Matt is a YouTuber, and I, I actually bought that through his um, link so he can get a few bucks off of it to help his channel out. Um, so you're welcome, MacGyver Matt, if you're watching. You probably aren't, though. Uh, maybe one day. But uh, yeah, I, um, I, I'm going to say seven threes for now. I just wanted to get a range test. I'll check back in uh, in a minute. I just want to uh, focus on driving right now because I'm at a pretty busy intersection. And uh, I'm going to focus on driving. I'll check back in as soon as I get to, I'm going to try four, 14 miles. I'll check back in. We're at almost 11 now. And up here is a bridge goes up a decent amount. So we, we should be able to hit my repeater from there so actually just hold on so i'm gonna try 10 it's at 10 7 now testing testing one two three testing testing one two three i think i did it um yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to change my um material up i'm gonna have to figure something else out because i'm gonna have comms throughout my immediate area, which is what I wanted to tackle. Uh, that's my, that was my goal, uh, to see how far I can get out with spending the least amount of money. In regards to spending the least amount of money, that doesn't go for me. I, I spent a lot of money, so you guys don't have to. Um, just trying to uh, see what works and what doesn't, but that that's why I do it, guys, so you guys don't have to. Um, and I don't mind doing it because everyone's like oh why you uh do youtube this and that i said guys all i'm doing is just recording what i would be doing anyway i would be out here right now doing this range test with my dog bella regardless if i was taping it or not so i figured i might as well just tape it for the for you know those who are interested and in, to take this journey with me it's beautiful out now it's been raining all the time uh for the past i think it's rained every weekend since the end of the third week in March. It's rained every weekend, whether it was a quarter inch, an eighth of an inch or whatever it was, it still rained uh, every weekend since the last weekend, the weekend before last of uh, March. And it is now the 18th of June, which is pretty crazy. And it hasn't been that hot here in Jersey, uh, which usually by now it's stifling the heat. It's stagnant and really humid. And that's not my, uh, it's not my cup of tea. But yeah, we're, we're coming up, passing my job soon. So we're at 11.6 uh, right now. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Ooh. All right, so we're right on the footprint right now, 11.7. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So that sounded good. My dog, Bella, sees another dog. Bell, Bell. All right, so we're coming up to the bridge. We're almost up on it. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yeah, see, I knew that would help being on this bridge. Bell, shh, calm down. Calm down. Bell, calm down. Let me roll her window up. Saw that other dog jogging and now she's freaking out. Sit down, relax, relax, Bell Bell. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. All right, so yeah, so I, Bell, shh, come on, babe. Um, so I think we're at the footprint right now. So I'm gonna turn around first and foremost, and then my objective tomorrow is you guys will be with me is to get that either so i'm getting the power supply tomorrow i think both of them the seven amp and the 30 amp so obviously i'm gonna use the 30 amp and uh and uh i'm gonna power this thing up first and see if that works through the tid radio h8 and then if not i have the uh kt 980 plus 
that has the sh that takes that 4850 K1 Surecom plug where I can integrate the Surecom through that. And that's that's 75 watts on VHF and 55 on UHF. So that should be interesting to see how much further we can get out. Being that the VTEC uh, U25 amp's not working right now, I think it's because of the the lack of power. So we'll figure that out tomorrow. But guys, let me check one more time. We're at 12.6. Testing, testing, one, two, three. I can make it out. I'm sure if I pulled over um, and 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 did the transmission, I'm sure I would get a better result driving right now but yeah i would say i would say 12 and a half to 12 miles would be the footprint right now just with the tid radio which is amazing and that and that wands j i'm gonna call it wands j pole um ygp uh wands j pole so yeah um the link is in the description man guys snatch one of these up um he has a bunch of different antennas for any band. Uh, it's a battle of the bands with his uh, eBay store. So check him out. Uh, seven threes for now. Remember, as I say, height is might. Take care, guys.